Jeff Simon here at Aero Friedrichshafen 2019 and uh, I'll tell you it is really really interesting to look around this show. We're all the way over here in Germany. That is where Friedrichshafen is and the once a year show that is one of the biggest things happening in general aviation is here. All of the largest manufacturers are here. Uh, we have Continental Motors, we have Pilatus and Cirrus and Diamond Aircraft. Everybody is anybody is here at the show showing what general aviation really is here in Europe. I'm here with Chris Keane, Vice President of Sales, Marketing and Customer Support for Continental Motors. Good to see you, Jeff. And actually, I should correct myself, right? It's Continental Aerospace Technologies now. That is correct. We, uh, we had a rebranding event right before show season. Uh, we're very happy to share it with everybody. It, it came from uh, a couple of years of getting feedback from our partners, our team members, and uh, we're really excited to have it finally come to fruition. And it really does make sense. I mean, a lot of companies have uh, rebrandings going on when they have to cover for other issues taking place. But the reality now is that with all of the new announcements that are happening out of Continental Aerospace Technologies, it makes sense to have a new name and a new brand to go along with it. A lot of changes and a lot of great things coming from Continental right now, and uh, it just it's so much better to have the rebranding and a new facility culminate with all of these things happening at the same time. Right. Now, we just came from Sun and Fun 2019, and there was a big announcement at Sun and Fun having to do with your Prime... The Prime 370, right? Right. And uh, we're very excited to be partnering with, uh, with Piper on the P100 and uh, it, it will be extended to the Archer as well once we have the, the TC here in, in just a short order. So very excited about the new uh, partnership with them, renewing some. We, we were originally back on the uh, Cub many years ago, yeah. so it's it's coming back home. And uh, very excited about the opportunities that, that lay in front of us with the Prime engines. Yeah, you're really on a roll with that. I mean, Prime parts out of Continental Motors, which is a, a source for parts not just for Continental engines, but for Lycoming engines as well, uh, is, is a great way to have you know high-quality parts at reasonable prices. And now a whole engine from that and being able to partner with an OEM like Piper, that's a very big accomplishment. We we were able to leverage that experience that we've had from the Prime Parts to, to bring that product to, to market very quickly and with our new factory do it at a really valuable uh, value proposition for our customers. So now, big news, right, out of Diamond Aircraft, Diamond, the DA-50 that everyone's been waiting for for so long but kept being held up with engine issues is now going to get solved with the CD-300 engine. Yes, we are really excited to have uh, Diamond after uh, not working with Diamond for a while. Diamond's come back to Continental and with the CD300, the 300 horsepower Jet A fueled engine. It's going to be a really great platform. Yeah, that is, you know, I'm very excited to see that uh, Diamond DA50 program accelerate now. I think the engine was holding it back, and I think now that they're partnered with Continental Aerospace Technologies, it's, it's going to make all the difference. In the, the initial feedback, they've only been flying it for a couple of weeks, is, is that it's much quieter. They've got a, a, the extra power, so uh, we're really excited to get all the specs worked out as they do the additional testing, but I, I think it's going to be very well received by the, uh, by the market. Yeah, and anything new coming out of uh, Continental Aerospace Technologies now? Absolutely. Yeah, we had another announcement uh, when we launched our rebranding. We talked about having a fund where we were going to start looking at uh, the long-term uh, power uh, for the GA uh, market. And while we're working on the short term with Prime <laughs> Engines and the CD300, we have a long-term view of alternative technologies that we that we need to be uh, abreast of. So we we announced here at Aero uh, our first investment in a company called Ampere uh, with some hybrid technology, and uh, there'll be more. That is, uh, as we continue on this journey, maybe this year, um, but certainly as we go forward, we need to make those investments. Yeah, well, I'll tell you, from Social Flight's perspective, Continental Aerospace Technology is a very valued partner. We just came down and equipped our personal Beechcraft with six new Michael cylinders, NIC3 cylinders, and we've been extremely impressed with the performance of this, not just in terms of power, but also in terms of what we're seeing in the break-in process, the temperatures, the oil still looks clean. It is, it is really impressive how uh, the quality of those cylinders and what the process has been, because the labor of doing that work is a, it's a big deal, and you want the best quality part you can. Uh, certainly don't have to remove the cylinders. So, so thank you for a great process. 
product and helping us with that as well. It's great, uh, great feedback, and, and quite honestly, we always getting that kind of feedback on our NIC3 filters. Uh, customers love them. Uh, it's a real value, especially for those people that uh, don't fly as frequently as they'd like to. So uh, we always love the feedback, so I'm glad it's working out for you. But uh, not surprised because the feedback so far is that everybody loves the NIC3 filters. Excellent. So again, for Social Flight, I'm Jeff Simon here with Chris King. Chris, thank you so much. Always a pleasure, Jeff, really anytime. Appreciate it. And so many exciting things happening here at Continental Aerospace Technologies. We'll be sure to check in soon when they have new announcements as well. For Aero Friedrichshaven 2019, I'm Jeff Simon.